So, unlike the previous years, Kaspersky Lab now offers a free solution for your PC. Um, if you want to pay more for extra protection, you can buy internet security as well as total security. Today we are going to be taking a look at the free version. Uh, we are going to be uh, go through the interface, see some features, and uh, after that I collected um, over 1000 malware samples. So we are going to be testing it against these malware samples to see how it how it handles them. So let's take a look what we have here. So you have here scan options, you can update your database, PC cleaner, this is for premium users, password manager, I believe also, Kaspersky VPN, mobile protection, you can use it on your mobile phone, um, privacy protection, here you have, this is all for uh, premium users. Uh, let me go to settings So you have private browsing also for premium mm, General settings exclusions So you have many features here, but um, Most of them are for premium users You have a weak settings control cloud protection this is a cloud-based antivirus and that's the problem. So when you're out of internet, when your internet is down, then you have a problem when you plug USB stick. And you can create Kaspersky rescue disk. So let me go to the main interface. I will disable protection for a second. Let me copy my um, my folder with uh, malware samples we're gonna pause it for five minutes so here we are over here as you can see we have 1366 items so all kinds of malware let me now enable protection and uh, we are gonna now update virus definitions so it's already done now we can scan the folder with Kaspersky let me pause the video for a second so after 30 minutes Kaspersky is uh, finally done with the scan uh, it says it scanned uh, over 3000 items for some reason never mind and uh, it deleted almost 90 percent of them and now you can see uh, there are 161 item in the folder so now we are gonna be running all of them i'm gonna be using a program for that so i don't need to to run them all manually of course it would take a while uh, let me load a program here let me pause the video for a second So on your left hand side you have a process explorer so we can follow uh, if um, anything is executed in a memory and over here on the right hand side we will run uh, the remaining items as you can see it's popping up let me pause the video and uh, I will be back when um, the process is done.
So we executed all of them and uh, Kaspersky um, hasn't shown up any pop-up which is very weird. Some items are loading in memory here as you can see four or five of them and um, in folder there are only five items left. They refuse to run so we will leave them as they are. Actually one of them is running right now here. So hopefully Kaspersky uh, did a good job. We will need to double check that. I will run a malware byte scan and uh, I will be back to you with results. So Malwarebytes has finished scanning and it detected 11 items in total. Uh, some of them are malware processes, some of them are adware, which are not that dangerous. So all in all decent job for a Kaspersky free version and um, keep in mind that um, we had over 13, 1300 samples. Many of them were uh, zero day malware. So um, all in all decent job for Kaspersky. Let me know in the comment section below which antivirus software would you like me to test next. And don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. And uh, we will see you in the next one. Bye bye.